coming up in the street. They're hoping that you're going to let what they did slide. They're hoping that, that you can pretend that what they did, they didn't actually do like it never happened. Scorpio, let's get into your June love reading. Any information that you need, as always, you can find it in my pinned comments and in my description box below. If you're cross-watching for a Scorpio, then please switch over the roles because I could be speaking directly to you. And please do keep in mind that this is a general reading, which means it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. You only take what's resonating specifically for you and you leave what doesn't for another Scorpio or Crosswatcher. Please also do respect the tarot and approach it with patience, an open mind and without expectations. And finally, if you don't want to miss a video, then subscribe and stay notified. Okay, so Scorpio, I'm going to pull your cards and then I'll take you through the energy. Uh, the zodiacs that I mention, as always, you need to keep an open mind, okay? Because they could be uh, character traits of somebody. They could be placements in your chart or someone else's chart, right? I will also tell you the dominant signs just in case anyone's interested in that particular information, right? So your overall energy is temperance, Sagittarius energy. You have the three of cups, that's Cancerian, Ace of Swords, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You've got Sagittarius again with the Wheel of Fortune, uh, Gemini, Virgo with the Magician, the Five of Cups is Scorpion, Seven of Wands, Leo, Nine of Coins, Virgo, King of Swords, Aquarius, the High Priestess, moon energy so potentially pisces cancer and under there is the lovers gemini energy okay so the dominant signs will be definitely sagittarius um i want to say gemini as well and cancerian yeah that's that's the dominant signs okay again they could be character traits of someone right uh decisions with healing this is beautiful energy so the lovers it is a, all about making a choice um you you're going to be put in a really difficult situation scorpio over the next couple of weeks really really difficult because your decision the or the decision that, that you're going to be making is okay do do you contribute to healing a relationship or are you just going to leave it the way it is okay um it 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 is a difficult decision because as you can see you've got temperance which is the card of alchemy okay a careful blend a careful decision it, it's like slowly and carefully thinking everything through making sure that it is going to be for your highest good whichever decision you choose to make remember i'm not here to tell anybody what to do okay i'm literally just reading the energy ultimately you're the one that's in charge of your life you're the one that is in charge of whatever decision you make okay um all this is asking for you to do is to make sure that you think about it carefully before you make any decision okay you then have celebrations understanding and karma which is a really interesting combination um celebrations and understanding that that would insinuate that <clears throat> you and someone else you will be seeing eye to eye with something there will be an agreement with something can you tell us more about this energy please the scorpio collective celebration understanding and karma why is this here please for the scorpio collective oh okay Nine of Coins, the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and Temperance again. Um, hmm. The Ace to the Eight equates to the Nine, which is like the, the Wounded Warrior type energy. Um, 
I would I would say that naturally, yes, you would be the one in the in the nine of wands, which is having your guard up against someone, someone specific. Uh, very much this once bitten twice shy type vibe. So I feel that whoever this is, that they're going to have a bit of a task on their hands. It, it's not going to be easy. Um, I think I can understand now why you're seeing the temperance coming out twice, that card of alchemy, because it's not going to be easy. There's there's a recognition here as well in this energy. It, it's the, the nine of coins and ace of wands that's doing it for me. It, it's like um, someone is understanding that you're very independent. You don't need anyone else. Like, so if if someone betrays you or backstabs you, whatever, you know that actually they did you a favour in a roundabout way because it just proves to you that you didn't, you, like, you, you didn't need them anyway. It, it's a bit of a... It's a strange thing to try and explain because without it coming across as sounding really arrogant, but it's like someone was hoping that that you were gonna feel um, their loss, and you do have grief as being central to this read as well, and it's right next to resilience. So you're very resilient. They, it, it's like someone was hoping that, that you would feel their loss and you, you didn't, or if you did, then you didn't show it on the outside. Like it was kept hidden because you've got the nine of coins that's come out twice, which is someone who's strong, independent, um, that they, they're very focused on what they themselves are doing in their own life, that they're, they're not worried about what everyone else is doing because they're so focused on their own life. Like they, they, they couldn't give any less of a shit what everyone else is up to. Celebrations, understanding and karma, yeah. Yeah, Th this is someone who didn't get the reaction that they were expecting. Th this could well be someone who was expecting you to go chasing after them and that never happened. Skill, grief and resilience. Can you tell us more about this energy please for the Scorpio Collective? Skill, grief and resilience. Why is this here please? Thank you. The Knight of Coins. Hmm. Again, with that shield, someone's definitely got a shield up. It can also be a message about reliability as well, because the Knight of Coins can be someone who is very reliable, a very hard worker, someone who pays attention to all of the details. Um, it can, depending on the context to which it comes out, it can indicate paranoia, like someone really worried about making a mistake. It's come out with the Ace of Cups. I'm feeling that this message is indicating how you've managed to turn pain into something positive. Like you've, see with that Ace of Cups, you, you've definitely created something new out of grief and that's how you've shown your resilience and, and your skill with that magician as well. It, it's like, well, life, life is what you make it and at the end of the day, yes, yeah, things have happened that have been out of my control. But I'm learning from it. I'm doing something good with it. This could also be someone um, following by your example as well. Can you tell us more about this energy, please, for Scorpio? Why is this here? Thank you. Strength. Major Arcana for Leo. Uh, some of you could be dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo placements in your own chart. Uh, but again, it, it's reinforcing that message that you will not be broken. 
in spite of certain other people's best attempts at trying to break you, at trying to destroy you, trying to ensure that that um that you don't get anywhere in life like you will not be broken there, there's also with this knight of coins with that being the slowest moving knight of the deck um it might take you a while to get back up on your feet but you always do get back up on your feet you're then moving into comfort knowledge and inner voice so finding comfort knowledge and inspiration and even additional strength through you listening to your inner voice can you tell us more about this energy please the sun yeah yeah happiness is what you make it can you tell us more about this energy please for scorpio judgment mm-hmm yep um See, that judgment can also be about listening to your higher self as well. But I feel that this is more about you no longer judging yourself in a negative way. But you, you're actually giving yourself credit where credit's due because it has come out with the sun. You're refusing to be uh, victimised as well. I'm suspicious at this point in the reading, Scorpio. I'm very, very suspicious as to why this is coming out in your read. But also with this decision that you have to make that pertains to healing. So that would tell me that this is someone who basically expected to leave you in the gutter and you didn't stay there that that individual is making a reappearance and that's why you're going to have a difficult decision to make about well what is it that i'm going to do about them because they, they literally they tried to destroy me from the inside out they literally took everything and you you had to rebuild from nothing all the while not succumbing to this uh, victim mentality, which is what they wanted. But why the fuck are they coming back in now? That's, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Why now? Very, very difficult decision for you to make, Scorpio, and you're the only one who can make it. No one else can make this decision on your behalf. The two of cups under there. Partnership, equality, duality. Um, it can be a proposal as well. Someone wants to propose something to you. Can you tell us more about this energy, please, for the Scorpio Collective? Whoa! King of Coins, a Knight of Wands, Five of Swords, Six of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Yeah. There's that, um... See with that five of swords energy, that, that is you feeling helpless in a situation. That's how you felt in the past. That's how someone made you feel in the past. They made you feel helpless. They're all up in your energy for whatever reason. And then you've got stability and celebration with the four of wands. Are they, are they already involved with someone else? Because a king of coins is someone, whether feminine, masculine or gender fluid makes no difference. It's someone who's already in a commitment, usually. It's someone who is um, 
like that they've already got a lot of life experience behind them but they're acting like a knight of wands which is someone who's really flighty someone who's very irresponsible so they did something that contributed to this five of swords see that that can be drama as well what a strange message and the two of wands at a crossroads again with that decision well what, what, what is the best thing to do in this situation hmm what else can you tell us about this energy please the Scorpio collective thank you can I have one more please Scorpio collective well missing you so sad lonely or alone physical separation let go and move on thinking of each other thinking of you missing you yeah so someone is clearly missing you way more than you're missing them but isn't that always isn't that always the case though because from what i can see they literally left you in the gutter and now they're missing you make it make sense skater girl skating along balance outdoor date letting things slide adaptable quickly and seamlessly with rocking it being yourself confident loud and proud hitting the right note harmonious concert and showing off so they're seeing that you're actually at your best when in in their head they're wondering well after everything i did to you surely you should be at your worst they're, they're justifying something to themselves as well with this skater girl energy it's that where it says letting things slide they're hoping that you're gonna let what they did slide they're hoping that, that you can pretend that what they did they didn't actually do like it never happened i don't know as i always say it's very very bizarre the things that people justify to themselves really really bizarre what else please for the scorpio collective thank you confusion mm. all seekers of truth experience confusion ask the divine to provide the answers that you need yeah there, there is a lot of confusion about the situation it's like what, what planet do they live on and remarkable notice everything remarkable about your relationships so again you, you see with the the two wedding rings i'm telling you and, and and with that king of coins and the 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 four of wands and all, all the other uh clues about the other person it's like they're they're already in a situation or a relationship or you are you could be the one that's already in a relationship or a situation it's under there heart you begin to feel your heart beat faster when you're close hmm What else, please, the Scorpio Collective? Huh. Evil Queen, you deserve sugar, not salt. 
Confidence. It comes with time and practice. Feather. Think first before you judge. And lavender. Surround yourself with love. And gold. You don't need someone else to fix you. No, you had to fix yourself. I can't remember what this Japanese practice is called, but it, it's where they, um, they, they fix things using uh, gold. It's got a really special name to it. I can't remember what it's called though. But the items are actually a lot more beautiful once they've gone through that process than they ever were to begin with. Um, you've got... I'll, t I'll tell you, I'll tell you what's going on. You've got some little shit in your energy that is jealous because people love you. I, could, I couldn't figure it out before. I was like, I can see the pieces of the puzzle, but I'm not seeing how they fit together. Now I'm seeing it. There, there's a little shit around you, Scorpio, who is jealous of the fact that people love you. People love you. And they do not like it. That's why we're seeing heart and remarkable. They're confused. Why, why do people love Scorpio? This is an individual who did everything in their power to try and destroy you. And the fact that you're, you, the, the fact that you're still not arse end on the floor is annoying them. You're surrounding yourself with love. You're surrounding yourself with people who actually do wish well for you because you've recognised that that is the support that you deserve. You've had to work hard on building up your confidence. This evil piece of work in your energy has been doing everything that they possibly could to spread lies about you, gossip. They have invented stories and repeated them to others. All total lies, all of it, and all designed to make you out to be the bad one. You have riled up this individual so much that they have made it their life ambition to try and pull you down. But guess what? Going by what I've seen in this energy, you will not be pulled down. You cannot and will not be destroyed. That's the decision that you've already made. You decided that you were going to focus on yourself and your own healing. Now I'm really suspicious about this evil sack of shit in your energy trying to come back in again. Because usually that will happen when it's coming out in your tarot, it's coming out for a reason. You might not have even thought about this individual in a long, long time. And yet here they are showing up in your tarot spread. They need to think before they judge. Because they have spent a lot of time, energy and efforts judging you instead of looking at themselves. They should be celebrating you for, for having pulled yourself back out of the hole that they decided that they were going to throw you in head first. This entire energy is an old scar that, that's being opened up again. For whatever reason, it's being opened again for, for a good purpose. I just can't figure out what that is. I'm telling you though, they're, they're going to be expecting for you to pretend like all of that evil crap that they did to you didn't happen. The, the, this isn't about... Um, this isn't about harboring resentment. Th th this is all about keeping, keeping yourself safe and the people that you love safe away from individuals who are of that mindset. 
like you're not having anything to do with them not out of trying to hurt them it's for your own safety it's it's for your own healing wow okay right so i'm gonna pull a handful of letters and we'll see if we can get names again it's not gonna be um it's not going to be helpful to every single person out there okay it's just additional information for those who feel that they need it basically and we all get four zodiacs as well oh no we've got a wee bit more than four okay right so you've got cancer taurus virgo scorpio and pisces and your letters let's have a look uh z q h x that's been coming out for almost everyone's read this month people dealing with their x's o d j h r b another x wow there could be a couple of x's coming out the woodwork scorpio and w okay let's see can we make any names out of this um not likely because you don't have very many vowels the only vowel that you have is o <laughs> so it's going to be really difficult to pill any kind of name um but i mean you could take initials as well that might be helpful for some but as far as full-blown names go it's it's going to be really difficult with just the one right anyway i need to leave that one there if you would like to book a private reading that is more catered towards your specific needs then you can place your booking at phoenixkiatarot.com thank you so much for watching and we shall speak again soon bye Thank you.